Hello everyone. Today we are going to find out about a module named INA219. With this module, we can measure current, voltage and power of a circuit. So this is the picture of the module, and here in the orange box, is the INA219 IC. This is the pinout of the module, which is also marked by the silkscreen of the PCB. We have a VCC and GND for the power supply, SCL and SDA for the I2C communication, and V in plus and V in minus pins for measuring the voltage. Let's look at some key specifications of INA219. First the supply voltage range is 3 to 5.5 volts, so we can connect the supply of this module directly from our 5 volt or 3.3 volt systems. V underscore shunt and V underscore bus are the two measurements acquired directly by this module, and we will find out later how these measurements are taken and how this IC calculates the current and power based on these measurements. The measurement range of these voltages are configurable by programming the registers through the I2C channel. The current measurement range can be determined by these settings and the value of the resistor we use for the shunt resistor. For example, if we use a shunt resistor value of 0.1 ohm as in our module, the current measurement range are as shown here. This is the basic ohms law V equals IR. The resolution of the measurement is also programmable and has a range of 9 to 12 bits. You can find the datasheet in the search result of INA219 in your search engine, or you can follow the link shown below. This is the schematic of the module. As you can see, it is composed of the INA219 IC, with some resistors and one capacitor for noise decoupling, but I omitted this for simplicity. Let's take a look one by one. First, there are two pull-down resistors connected to the address pins A0 and A1, and by default this device will have an address of 40 in hexadecimal value. You can change this address by connecting these two pads here or you can tie these pins to SDA or SCL, extending your address options to a number of 16. This is the list of the I2C addresses we can use for each connections made. These two pull-up resistors on the I2C line are necessary for proper communication with the host, since I2C devices are only capable of driving the line to a low value. And finally, this resistor is called shunt resistor, it is used to measure the voltage drop, or the shunt voltage, and with the knowledge of the shunt resistor value, we can calculate the amount of current flowing to the load. Let me show you an example. In case we have a simple load connected to VCC, and we want to measure the voltage and the amount of current flowing through this load. Then we can connect the VIN plus and VIN pins of our module as we see here, and then the current flows through the shunt resistor which results in the voltage drop across the shunt resistor. So this voltage drop is V shunt and V bus is the voltage read from the V and minus pin. Let's take a look at the internal register of INA219. As you can see, there are six registers, two configurable registers and four read-only registers. With the configuration register we can set the mode of operation, voltage measurement range, ADC resolution and so on. The calibration register is used current and power calculations which we can read from the current and power registers. Current and power flowing to the load can be calculated using these formulas directly from the values read from the shunt and bus voltages registers. However you can also obtain current and power values directly from the registers after setting the calibration register using this formula. Current LSB is the desired resolution of the current register value, and should be selected a value between maximum expected current divided by 2 to the 15th, to maximum expected current divided by 2 to the 12th. And of course the maximum expected current should be equal to or smaller than the current measurement range which was mentioned in the previous slide. After setting the calibration register, you can read the register value from the current and power register, and obtain an actual value in amperes and watts using these formulas. For example, with the maximum expected current of 2 amperes and desired resolution of the current as 100 microamperes, each values can be calculated as shown. Now let's take a look at the schematic I used for testing the INA219 module. I used an Arduino Nano for the controller, and for the load, I used one LED in series with a resistor for current limiting, and added a push switch for turning on and off the LED to show you the change of the current and voltage value. 
This is the connection example based on previous schematic. So, let's start the demo. First start the Arduino IDE, and make sure you have all your settings correctly applied. In my case I am using the Arduino Nano as I mentioned before, so it should look similar to this here, except the port number, which in my case it is COM4. When you have all your settings done, you need to install the library. So click the Manage Libraries under the Tools menu, and type INA219 then press Enter. You will see there are several libraries you can install, but the one we're using is the topmost one, from A to Fruit. Click the Install button to install, and you may see a pop-up telling you there are dependencies to this library, so install them as well, and then close. After that, you can open an example file under File, Examples, Ada Fruit INA 219, Get Current. For testing purpose, you don't need to modify anything in this file, so I'll just click Upload. By default in this demo file, the address is 40 which is the address when you have all your address pins tied to the ground. Configuration register isn't modified, so it will have the default value of 399F in hexadecimal value, and you can take a look at the datasheet for the details. Calibration register is initialized to 4096 in decimal value as we have seen in the previous example in the register description, with maximum expected current of 2 amperes, and current LSB to 100 micro amperes. If you want to change the settings, you can uncomment these lines for several predefined configurations, and modify the source code adafruit underscore ina219.h and adafruit underscore ina219.cpp for your customized settings. After uploading the image, click Serial Monitor under Tools, and you can see the measurement result printed every 2 seconds. When I press the push switch, LED turns on, and you can see the current and voltage of the load. If the switch is released, the LED turns off, and the current value returns to zero. If you are not able to see the printed value, make sure your boo rate is set to 115,200. Thank you for watching this video, have a nice day.